government, the private sector is very important and going to be very important for us. Since President Akufuado and MPP took over government in, in 2017, the private sector has helped us to stabilize the economy, moving GDP from 3.6% in 2016 to an average of 7% 2017, 2018, 2019, until COVID-19 struck. Even with that, Ghana will rebound after COVID-19. We will rebound. There are three things I want to urge all of you today. That's very important for us in doing business. I want us to know that in the last eight years or so, 60% of all businesses in this country are operated and founded by young people below 40 years. It's therefore important that government and the private sector does all they can to ensure that young people are strengthened, they can improve their business and employ people. It's very important for us to know that young people are now ruling the world and efforts and policy initiatives should be directed at them, helping them to grow. This is why over the next one year, government through the Ministry of Business Development is going to roll out a 200 million support program for startups and small businesses in this country to grow. Over the next one year, we're going to spend 200 million cities to support startups and small businesses to expand. This money will go into capacity building and funding for young small businesses to grow. We should know that small businesses and startups constitute about 82% of all businesses in this country and the economy is 85% of GDP. We therefore cannot wait to help them. I want to urge young entrepreneurs not be a passive participant in AFTA. Ghanaian businesses must take charge and leverage the opportunity created by AFTA so that we can make good money, expand our business, employ people. And to do that simply means that we have to innovate. We can't be successful if we don't innovate. We must consider innovation that our products and services will not only meet local requirements, we also meet international standards. It's very important for us as young entrepreneurs. The next line of thing I want to discuss with all of you, Ghana, we are lacking generational businesses. It's difficult to count today in a business that is about 100 years old, even 60 years old. When the founders pass on, either retirement or death, the businesses collapse. We cannot grow a country without generational businesses. The Sions and the, all the baby companies you've got to know, they are all dead. As young businessmen, start planning your succession. If you don't plan succession, your business will collapse. I want to educate take succession planning very seriously. Don't wait till you are 90 years or 74 start succession planning. Start planning your succession today. 